Hey everyone, it's Sir Sphinx here, and we're back for part 5 of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption, where we were riding our carriage to the east, and seemed to have gotten separated from the rest of our gang, but I'm sure that won't last too long. I love this old cowboy music, really. And, uh... Our friend here, I don't, I don't exactly remember what his name was, uh, but he, he gave us uh, some alchemical ingredients, some ingredients for making medicines. Seems. But this countryside is absolutely breathtaking. Like, honestly, take a look around, people. My friend said that uh, Rockstar made uh, their employees work 100-hour work weeks don't know how true that is but I mean if they did their work definitely shows because there's so much attention to detail in this game it is absolutely beyond impressive it, this game is beautiful and I mean I've only played it for about five hours now four or five hours actually not even that because I'm making 30 minute episodes for like so I've played it for about two two and a half I'm so excited to get into this and it looks like the local wildlife is coming to greet us. Alright, actually... Hold on, I'm actually going the wrong way. I wasn't looking at the mini-map. Let's check out the main map. Now, my my copy of this game did come up with a, with a map. And apparently, from what I t talked to my friend Brendan about, he told me that uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 map size is about twice the size as uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, and you can actually go to some locations that were previously in Red Dead Redemption 1, like Blackwater and uh, New Austin, or whatever that was. But let's check out this. We have to go to this camp, apparently. Let's see what it is exactly. Horseshoe Overlook. That's already our waypoint, and there's a butcher there. Okay. Horseshoe Overlook, Barber Butcher. Ooh, looks like there's a big town up here. I don't think that's at Horseshoe Overlook, though. Oop, didn't want to do that. Maybe it is. There's tons of stuff to explore here. Uh, maybe he was talking about this little settlement here. Valentine. Well... We're going to stick to the main quest right now, but we're definitely going to be doing side quests, and we're definitely going to explore all of this, so uh, make sure to stick with me through it. And also, if you guys can hear barking sometimes or the jingle of a collar, that's my dog outside my room, so don't let the sweet little willy bother you too much. All right. Sorry. Uh, seems we made a wrong turn. Gonna have to do a little bit of off-road if you don't mind. Awesome. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Who's this? <clears throat> oh, Javier, my man. Okay, let's go. All right. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Oh, wrong well, turn again. This is a good spot. Oh, my Excellent. gosh. I think this will work. For uh, us how do we reverse the wagon? Right now, anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna turn. Sorry, guys. Maybe you shouldn't have picked me to be the carriage driver. Oh gosh, not good, not good. Back up, back up. <laughs> How does one back up? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm making an absolute fool out of myself. These paths are a little hard to see, to be fair. Not sure this even constitutes as a path. Well, looks like we caught up with the rest of them. Here we are, gentlemen. Home 
sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place is we perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Well, it seems over the past couple of weeks, our beard has grown substantially. That's, like, I was talking to my friends the other night, 
definitely attention to detail in this game. My boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. So, I, it says we can shave, change our clothes, and sleep all, all in our tent here. So, uh... Also, yeah, there, there's a there's a cleanly, cleanliness mechanic in the game where, depending on how dirty Arthur gets, uh, I think his stamina will be will be negative affected. Maybe his charisma as well. Uh, also, there's a the body weight c component. You, you can change Arthur's body weight. That's crazy, right? <laughs> so who's this? What does that say? Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. Beatrice Morgan. Is that... Huh. I wonder. We're Arthur Morgan, so that's definitely a family member. Maybe a wife, perhaps? Past wife? Uh, got some pictures here. I wonder which one we are. Maybe we're none of those. A dog. Lyle Morgan. Definitely. All right. Got some family here. Another photograph. Let's check it out. Nothing. Okay. Not a lot of info on, the, on who that is. Salmon flower. Salmon. Uh. Interesting looking flower. I guess I'll just leave it there, I suppose. So we also have to donate goods like food and money to the camp in that box that Dutch uh, showed us. Let's take a look around the camp before we move on. I know we're supposed to go to. Uh, the town of Valentine, and well, uh, well, let's we'll leave Dutch for the moment. There's our camp box. We can donate stuff. I don't know if we put it. Yeah, we probably do. Contribute to Horseshoe Overlook. Give money, give item. Let's see what we got to give. I'm keeping the gold pendant necklace. We'll, we'll, next time we go out, we'll definitely come back and put some stuff in the box. Ooh. We got some music. Smells delightful, Mr. Pearson. Believe me, you'll be the first to know. Is there a bath somewhere? Morning. Arthur is looking a little dirty. Morning. Hosea. Oh, that's... My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. You seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there and then. Sorry, but you're one of those O'Driscoll boys. That we picked up bad. back on the Grizzlies. What's this? There's an option. If I can get it highlighted again. Poor. All right. Well, I think uh, Jose already gave us a cup of coffee, but I'm a, I'm a two two cups of Joe a day type of fella. <laughs> All 
Alright. Arthur likes his coffee black like a true man. I am not that type of man. I like my coffee with milk and sugar in it like a little baby boy. Talk to him. All right, so Miss Grimshaw is like the camp overseer. I'm sorry if uh, some of you guys are more fast place pl pace players, but I typically like to go through games a little slower to get the full experience and to. Uh, I guess it got cold, huh, Arthur? Alright, well. There's a, another symbol over here. This is our tent. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we should shave or not. I don't, like, I, I, don't, I don't know if there's, like, we could just trim the beard, or if we shave, it's gonna go all the way off. Okay, well, I think that's everyone here. I don't know if there's any baths here. There probably isn't. Unless there's something back here. We might have to go to Valentine to get a bath. Clean ourselves up a bit. What's this? Castle above the moor. Cry to me a bit here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Reading right now isn't on Arthur's... Oh, Arthur's priority list. Let's just Mommy. say that. Is this, uh... Where's Sadie Adler? That, that girl that we picked up back in uh, the Grizzlies. That looks like it could be her, but... That's where we parked the horses, okay. Yep, alright. Let's get back to our tent. Let's just see what options there are to shave. You know. Trim. No, you have no pro made to apply. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see what trims we got. Mustache, chin, chops. Length. Nope, definitely not. Uh, that's cool, we do get the... And we're only at length 4 of 10, and that's a pretty big beard there. Yeah, we're gonna go... We're just gonna, we're just gonna trim a little bit. All right, sweet. Got it handled. All right, so where are we riding to first? This is Horseshoe Overlook. We got a lot of stuff to do in, over in Valentine. And Latinx Station, that's the train station. I think we'll go to Valentine first. Let's just, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, whoops, we'll, we'll waypoint that. Valentine, the Heartlands, a rough, raucous, hard-working town that provides livestock at auction to Heartland landowners and rest and refreshment to thirsty cowboys. It's nicknamed Mud Town because the streets, buildings, and most of the residents are rarely clean. Well... Seems like Arthur wouldn't get along too bad there. Let's be off. Oh, 
long time, boy. Command your horse to stay, flee, or follow by focusing on it with the LT when it's nearby. Alright. Alright. To Valentine we go. Yours is agile, you probably. Okay. That's such a calming voice. You're okay, boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, to live in a place like this, wouldn't that just be the life? Yeah. Galloping causes horse stamina to drain. You should just be wandering around here, friend. Excuse me, who said that? Not a thing happens around here without an Adrisco saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. What did you say? Go on! Get lost! Settle down. I ain't taking any shit from any of Driscoll's. Easy now. <laughs> Whoa, boy, easy. <laughs> you think I was just gonna let some old Driscoll's live? Ain't happening, Chief. Cannot steal all loot and millions of your satchels. Fuel, piercing can craft satchels with increased capacity. All right, so next time we're in a horseshoe overlook, we're gonna have to get a bigger satchel. <clears throat> oh, Driscoll's this close to horseshoe overlook. Yep. My oh my. Oh, they, we got uh, we got electricity, huh? Howdy. I guess that's Valentine right up ahead. We can we can talk to everyone as long as we get close enough and uh, press the left trigger. I mean, I can say something to these fine folk. Get out of the way, damn you. All right, well, forty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. How you holding up? It's a little chilly. Good, good. Mud town. Howdy. All right, well. <laughs> I guess uh, it says what you're about. Uh, let's park our horse. I wonder if we can give our horse a name. And if so, how do we do that? Horse cargo, Tennessee Walker. Hitching your horse, feed sturdy, study, brush feed, lead pat. Easy boy, you're okay. Mm, brush. Yeah, we can do some horse grooming here. Feed. What was the Oh we do we need to buy a brush before we can brush him, huh? Ah, oh, maybe we'll have to go to the general store and pick one up then. Alright, let's see uh what's around here. Post office. Stagecoach, not interested. 
Post office. Questionable. What's over here? Newspaper, gunsmith, butcher, hotel. Probably get a bath at the hotel. Got a, got a show to watch, too. How about it? Barber, saloon, doctor. All right, was there a general store? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll have to stop by that. Stop by that first. Not to redo our business in uh, Valentine. Maybe we'll speak to some of the locals and Javier. Actually, you know, I'm going to get on my horse. Probably park it outside the saloon or something. It seems like a smarter thing to do. Let's go, boy. Hello. Sure. Hello. Try to be a little bit friendly. Howdy. Mission mission blips covering over a large area have had to be searched to find your companion's location. That's kind of cool. Hey, mister. Hello there, mister. You discovered a stranger. They they are marked with a question mark and will give you tasks to perform. Alright, well. Uh let's ride over to the general store. Who's who's out there shouting? Your horse is dirty, this will cause the health core to drain faster. Brush your horse or ride it through water to clean it off. Okay. Horse is dirty, apparently. Got the pharmacy. Office. Another saloon. All right, we'll park out here. Look, we got. Look, it sounds like we got some women folk inside. Maybe we'll have to go go introduce ourselves later tonight. First things first. I don't know how much money we got. Didn't even say we had like twelve dollars or something like that. Might go a long way in these days, you know. Hey there, sir. Haven't seen you in here before. I'm sure you need a good meal after all the traveling you do. Why don't you grab some meat and cheese on my counter here? All right, browse catalog. Now, let me have a look. Previous pr provisions, tonics, ammunition, hunting, fishing, horse care. We'll go there first. Potent horse stimulant. Uh, not interested in really the stimulants too much. Horse medicine might be a, a, a good snag. We have twenty-one dollars. All right. Uh, pages. Fella came in here, started taste testing the liquor. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You can buy a, buy a new outfit. Uh, Eighty-five dollars. Yikes. Get ourselves a new hat. Not on the top priority list right now. Oh, Miss Hardshaw, the seamstress passed away. Don't know who's going to mend my things now. Let's buy us some food. I don't think they have a horse brush from what I've seen. Where was it at? Horse supplies. I don't see a brush anywhere. Coffee prelocator, use prelocator, brew coffee at your camp. Live crickets. These homeless folks come trudging in here all the time now. What is this place coming to? Hunting supplies, ammo. 
Cocaine gum. <laughs> oh boy. Stack up. Never know what you'll run into. Hair tonic. Cigarettes. Crackers. Oh, here's some food. Yeah, let's grab some. Uh -huh. Let's grab some biscuits. Uh, oat cakes. Yeah, well, I think we already got a couple of those. Mature venison meat, salted beef. Mm. All right, get some food. What else did we need? We needed a horse brush. Doesn't look like he has any though. This is the horse care. Horse medicine, potent horse medicine. Stimulants. That's it. No brushes. Yeah, we got well, some. Right? It's been a rough kind of town as long as I can remember. Classic frock coat. Shotgun coat. Ugh. That's mighty popular these days. How do I get out of here? That's it. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Look around. Sell, browse catalog. No, no, that'll be it, sir. I think right. I think we're content with our coat at the minute. Worth General Store. It's the satchel. Alright, yeah. Let's have some biscuits. Carrying 10 out of 10. Oh, excuse me. What's this place? This is the hotel. Alright. Who's talking over there? Oh, I hear him. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here. We're going to go see what Harvey Air wants in the next one. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching.